out there if if the Canelo fight just can't happen? To be honest, that was my motivation fight. You know, uh, it, it, it's crazy and it makes me laugh uh, with all the antics that Canelo is doing and saying in the media and, and whatnot. Floyd Mayweather has joined Terrence Crawford on live to make fun of Canelo for ducking the fight with Crawford. While Canelo is busy promoting his upcoming fight, he's already stirring up headlines with his confrontations within the boxing world. Recently, His Excellency Turkey Alec disclosed that he had approached Canelo's team with a proposal for the fight. Canelo himself has expressed a willingness to accept such a challenge, suggesting it would be a straightforward win if the financial terms were favorable his. Excellency later announced via a post that he no longer had any interest in pursuing the event. This prompted Alvarez to respond, stating that he was indifferent and not seeking the confrontation. The situation took a turn for the worse when Aloschik turned to X criticizing Canelo for allegedly pursuing only easy show only fights as tensions simmered. Crawford entered the scene, dismissing Canelo's $150 million price tag to fight him as nothing more than excuses. If it's, if it's all about business, then you're doing good business. If I'm, if I'm easy work, I heard him say, I'm easy work. If I was easy work, would well, you know, you would take all that money that 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 he's offering you. But yet and still During his appearance on Sean Porter's The Porterway podcast, one of the hosts asked Crawford about his main source of motivation. If the anticipated fight with Canelo Alvarez doesn't materialize, Crawford responded by saying that his primary drive to keep fighting is the prospect of facing Canelo. He also mentioned that Canelo's remarks about a potential matchup between them amused him. He won't get no credit and and all this uh, type of things, but Canelo been fighting smaller guys his whole career. Canelo been um, making his own catch weight. It's important to highlight that Canelo previously stated that a bout against Crawford would offer him no real benefit. He argued that a victory would be dismissed by critics who would claim Crawford moving up in weight classes was simply too small to pose a serious challenge in response Crawford. Noted that Canelo has long been facing opponents from lighter weight divisions. Crawford mentioned that Canelo had been setting his own catchweights for years, pointing out that Canelo has fought smaller opponents like Mayweather and Amir Khan, also brought up Jal Charlo, suggesting that Canelo wouldn't earn as much money fighting Banga as he would by facing him, yet still had many excuses. His own catchweight for years. You know, Canelo fought a smaller Mayweather. Canelo fought a smaller... Um, Amir, uh, um, not Amir Khan, but uh, uh, yeah, Amir Khan. Yeah, he did, Amir he did, Khan. at 155. Um, yeah. Amir Khan, you know, um, he fought so Jamel Charlo. And I'm pretty sure he didn't make as much money with mm -hmm. all those guys except Mayweather. Even, even Berlanga right now, that he will with me. But yet and still, you know, he, he have all these excuses why he don't want to take a fight. Crawford further slammed Canelo for his many reasons for not taking the fight against him, but argued that if it was an easy fight for Canelo, why wouldn't he take the offer from His Excellency and make millions with little effort? He reiterated Canelo's ask of 150 million to fight me, which reaffirms his belief that he is a threat to Canelo, adding, I'm a threat to his legacy. Terence Crawford may be pushing himself if he fights Canelo Alvarez at 168 pounds, according to a well-known boxing trainer in Cutman Lass. Saturday in Los Angeles, Terence Crawford cemented his status as a four-division champion by overcoming Israel Madoff. Already a two-division undisputed champion, Crawford stands as one of the most accomplished fighters of his time. However, despite his impressive track, record Bob Santos remains skeptical about Crawford's ability to replicate his previous success against Canelo Alvarez. In an interview with Boxing Scene, Santos said, I think it'll be a step too big for him, but he has earned the right to try it. I could be wrong, he could prove us wrong. But for the most part, I think that's just a lot to ask of Bud to go to 168 since Crawford's fight against Madoff wasn't his best showing. Santos believes he would deserve the fight based on his career, not just one performance given. The current situation, it seems unlikely that a showdown between Canelo Alvarez and Terence Crawford will ever come to fruition particularly. After Canelo began clashing with the very individual who made it all possible, with the eagerly awaited bout between Canelo Alvarez and Terence Crawford, currently postponed much to Crawford's chagrin, the pound-for-pound -pound boxing sensation still has a plethora of opportunities available if he sticks to fighting at one. 154 pounds Crawford.
the newly crowned WBA super welterweight world champion, recently shared his thoughts on potential matchups when discussing possible fights against Sebastian Fonder, Virgil Ortiz Jr., or Jal Charlo. The Nebraska native was candid and forthcoming it would definitely be Fonder if him. And Errol Spence Don't Fight Crawford stated his preference makes sense as Fonder holds the WBO and WBC unified super welterweight titles Crawford would have the opportunity to win the bulk of titles at 154 pounds in a matchup with Fonder. The IBF championship is held by Bakram ML, the other world champion in the division. Securing the undisputed title at 154 pounds would elevate Crawford to a historic millstone as the first boxer in the four-belt era to claim undisputed champion status across three separate weight classes. He has already achieved this remarkable feat at super lightweight and welterweight. Crawford didn't mince words when discussing Alvarez's reluctance to fight him accusing the Mexican star of making excuses Crawford sought. But yet, and still he has all these excuses, why he doesn't want to. Fight me if it's all about business, then you're doing good business, if I'm easy work, then you would take all that money that's being offered to you. Crawford cited Alvarez's excessive demands for cash in exchange for fights both with Ben Aids and with himself as proof that Alvarez posed a threat to the legend. Crawford asserted that just lets me know right there that I'm a threat to him. I'm a threat to his legacy because it would be crazy for a guy that started at 135 to come all the way up to 168 year weight, no catch weight and dethrone you. He got that in the back of his head. The boxing world waits to learn if Crawford will face Fonder Spence or another elite opponent in his next bout. But Terence Crawford has every reason to be furious as one of the most compelling figures in boxing today, with a reputation for drawing crowds and an impressive collection of records and accolades. Crawford's frustration is understandable, despite his prominence. Eddie Hearns repeated mentions of Canelo Alvarez during the lead-up to Crawford's fight with Israel Madoff seem dismissive. What initially appeared to be a casual remark turned out to be more significant, prompting Crawford to address added the issue decisively. When the comments surfaced, the boxing world was abuzz with speculation about an Alvarez versus Crawford showdown, only for it to dissolve into a fleeting fantasy. Hearn at 45 revealed that he had hoped to use the anticipated clash to boost the promotion of Madoff versus Crawford. When Crawford caught wind of these remarks, he didn't hold back his disapproval. In a conversation on the Porterway podcast, the newly crowned WBA champion called out the British promoter for being disrespectful. Crawford said, said I, thought it was disrespectful for Eddie Hearn to lie and say we had to use your name to promote the fight. We didn't use Canelo's name to promote. She's trying to stay friends with him. But it's disrespectful to me with a flawless record of 410. Crawford made it clear that he had effectively dismissed any queries about Alvarez. He added so. For him to say we had to use his name to sell the fight is disrespect Alvarez now 34 is focused on his upcoming bout with Edgar Berlanga, a commitment that has complicated their negotiations. Despite this, the Mexican champion boldly demanded nearly $150 million to make the fight happen, even branding it as easy work for him. Unsurprisingly, Crawford wasted no time in taking a jab at him. The native of Omaha brought out Alvarez's duality in the same podcast, the 6,122 record holder claimed it was an easier assignment, but he also desired hundreds of millions of dollars in compensation. Crawford had previously suggested that he could jeopardize Alvarez's legacy by moving up divisions, making his way to 168 pounds, and then showcasing his skills to defeat him with that potential clash now off the table. Crawford can shift his attention to other champions in his quest to become undisputed in three different divisions. Meanwhile, Alvarez is set to face Berlanga on September 14th. Meanwhile, Terence Crawford has been urged to now pursue a mega fight with Jaron Boots and this the greatest battle right now, in the opinion of famous fighter Bernard Hopkins, is versus Ennis, a fellow American and emerging talent. Hopkins told Fight Hype, I would want to make Crawford versus Boots and this in Philadelphia make that today because I believe any other fight past those divisions going up to Canelo is not realistic based on financial realistic or non-realistic in his early professional career and has attracted a lot of attention and went on to win 32 bouts. Without losing to become the world champion in his latest bout, he successfully defended his IBF welterweight world title for the first time overcoming David Aonian. The title had previously been taken from Crawford, when he achieved undisputed champion status last year, Hopkins added in this case, and realistic, but Crawford versus Boots Andis is the fight to see that's a super fight. Trust me, at 147 pounds, 
The two would frequently talk about fighting with Ennis, always urging a shot as he advanced to the required position. Bud moved up in weight to follow Mavware. He made history and joined an exclusive group. Thus, it never happened, Crawford had. Previously said that a matchup with Alvarez would have improved his legacy and resulted in a larger purse, however, that seems to be off the table right now, leaving Crawford's slow plan in ruins. But Bradley remains confident that Terrence Crawford can defeat Canelo Alvarez at 160, 8 pounds, despite Crawford's recent showing against Israel Mayoff, the WBA junior middleweight champion Bradley, much like Sean Porter and other supporters of Crawford, 